एवरीवन वन बानी हेयर सो वी एज यू नो आई बीन गिविंग मी यू माई इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू एवरी इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेकिंग ब्रेक्स वाइल यू राइट ओके दिस टॉपिक विल बी जस्ट अबाउट दैट दैट वाई इज इन हिस्टरी टू टेक ब्रेक्स इन बिटवीन योर हैंड राइटिंग to improve your handwriting okay uh, we'll start with this whenever you write or whenever you work not write whenever you work or do something you take small breaks in between you take small intervals in between right why are those intervals that necessary to take i'll tell you those intervals are necessary to be taken because if you will not take those intervals your handwriting will not be looking good okay while we write uh, you must have no if you write uh, continuously on a one sheet of paper you write wholly on a one sheet of paper continuously after some time you will see your hands will be getting tired okay and the grip of the pen will start getting loosened or you will be tightening it up while writing it's not good okay because we have had dealt with what are the disadvantages of the grip or how important it is to hold the pen nicely yeah so if your you will get if you will get tired or your grip supposedly you hold it from here or you hold it from here your in writing will look miserable and that is what the what we don't want because we are working towards it we are working towards improving it so see if you will write continuously on a piece of paper okay you are writing very fast maybe you have an exam or maybe you are working on an assignment and it's a deadline and you have to submit it okay you write it very exa- uh, fast best example is of exam while we are giving exam we write at the most speed we have okay we write at the best possible speed as we can and we write too fast too we just kept on babbling on the paper right but that babbling is important for you to complete your exam sheet but that babbling will not help you to improve your handwriting at the end if you will be so let's just discuss some basic and simple exercises that you should you can do while your hands are very tired while writing okay whenever you're writing just take a break okay how much how much time for how long you should take a break for how long you should take a break you should take a break for 5 seconds you should take a break for 5 seconds in an exam you cannot rest for 5 minutes even 1 minute is so crucial in an exam even 10 seconds are also so crucial in an exam even 5 seconds are also crucial in an exam so we cannot take such a long break but for you to make your exam sheet look more neat more tidy is it it is necessary for you to take a break of at least 5 seconds okay supposedly uh, you write you are reading your question or you reading something you can take a break then what you have to do is take your hand move it like this move it like this either clockwise or you can do it anti clockwise okay because the wrist works when you write your fingers do work when you write but the wrist also get tired okay so even you can do this you can hold your wrist you can do this you can do this your wrist gets your palm gets tired while you write your fingers get tired while you write start doing this this 
you can close and open your fingers you can move your wrist these are very basic exercises for you to do but as they are basic they are also important for you to carry forward okay i'll tell you Be- supposedly you have written almost a sheet okay you have covered a sheet what will happen is if you will start writing and writing will come like this supposedly okay let's take a sentence the fox jump over the fence you will be start writing like this the fox jumps over the fence why does it happen like this because we were writing for such a long time we were writing with so much speed that at last when we have come to supposedly it's the second page you're writing on your handwriting will ultimately comes like this it will ultimately comes like this okay are you able to understand a word of this no we cannot understand even a single word of this so we need to work upon it we need to see how our because i have always taught you that whenever you write you need to be little cautious what you write how you write how are you writing it how are you presenting it on the piece of paper right so this is not what we want to represent this is not what we are working towards for right so just take a break for 5 seconds how long just 5 seconds you will not even realize how 5 seconds are even ending up but those 5 seconds will give your hand a rest which you need will give your hand a rest which you need and which is required for you so just keep this in mind that whenever you are tired while you are writing you need to take a proper rest of 5 seconds just 5 seconds is all that we need because we don't want the outcome of our handwriting to come like this we don't want our hand out to our handwriting to come like this this is wrong okay so just wait for 5 seconds do some exercises i'll be telling you again those exercises for you to recall them open your hands do your fingers like this okay claw open close open close do this move your wrist clockwise anti clockwise do as you wish just make your palms and your wrist rest for a second do that and then come back and trust me when you will be doing these ex- exercises and will you be coming back at your writing what will be the results you know those results but i'll tell you again what those results will your handwriting will be somewhat like this D box jumps over the pins which one is more pretty or which one is looking more appropriate obviously the second one right this was the first one this was the second one obviously the second one looks more appropriate in writing so now you know why is it necessary for you to take a break of 5 seconds while you write or while you writing something it is for your own good for your own practice to take that break moreover uh, just remember your body posture also gets tired your back also gets tired while because if you will be putting so much pressure on your back while you write you will be ultimately go like this you bend forward don't do that and even if you are doing that and even if you get tired just make sure the way you are giving your hands a relax give your back a relax for 5 seconds straighten up your back for 5 seconds move like this move like this then come back to your desk again and start writing you don't have to stand up for these exercises no you just can sit at your place 
even i am sitting right now right and i am doing those so just sit up straight do this do this but first of all just make sure you don't even bend your body posture should be straight your hand high angle should be straight so that won't be necessary for you if you would be keeping those tips in your mind cool we'll be meeting in our next video thank you hope you enjoy your class videos hit the subscribe and bell button below to get regular updates about our video releases